Hey folks, Jerome Forrest here. It's 2.49 p.m. on May 25th, 2023 in Fairview, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 20 degrees outside on a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I travel for 4.5 kilometers starting at Broadway City Hall Station, then ride the SkyTrain along the Canada Line to Vancouver City Centre Station, continuing southeast on foot along West Georgia, northeast on Seymour, southeast along West Pender, and then south on Abbott, ending my trek in Chinatown at TNT Supermarket. If you would like to support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforestwood. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forrest here, doing a narrative video. Currently on the 99 commercial Broadway bus, heading on over to uh, Broadway City Hall Sky Trade Station, and we're on West Broadway. Looks like we're about to go, so we're gonna pull up to the bus platform and climb on up and head on over to the Sky Trade. So we're at Commercial Broadway City Hall Station, <laughs> sorry, Broadway City Hall Station. <laughs> And I tapped in. Just remember if you tap in on the SkyTrain to tap off. And the plan today is to head on over to the TNT grocery store in the downtown core over in Chinatown. So we'll be heading on over in that direction. I'm gonna catch the Sky Train up to Vancouver City Center Station and then take the stroll from there. Here comes the Sky Train right now. And on the sky train we go. And we'll just wait for it to go. So, because we got on at Broadway City Hall Station, the next station that we're going to go to is. Olympic Village Station. After that will be Yale Town Station and then we'll get off at Vancouver City Center Station. And there comes the other train heading on into Broadway City Hall Station and that'd be going in the direction of Richmond. Yeah, I 
Just take about 30 seconds to a minute for onboarding and offboarding. heading underneath uh, False Creek and we'll pop out at Yaletown Roundhouse Station. So we are now going underneath the Pacific Ocean. And we're at the deepest point on the SkyTrain line right now. Climbing up to Yale Town Roundhouse Station. This is a fairly deep station with three escalators to get up to ground level. And we'll just go one more station and then we'll be over at Vancouver City Center Station. And here we go. So we're currently taking the curve up Davy Street. Now we'll be turning onto Granville Street and heading underground along that line. Once we're done the curve, it's a pretty quick ride on over to Vancouver City Center Station. So now we'll be paralleling Granville Street underground. And you can see Vancouver City Center Station in the distance. The next station is Vancouver City Center. And here's our stop. And we are now at Vancouver City Center SkyTrain Station. The next train to arrive on the outbound platform is from YVR Airport.
And because I tapped on, I'm going to tap off. And this is the Georgia and Granville Street exit. Okay, and we'll keep going. We are currently at Granville Street. And we'll cross the street here. And continue walking in this direction on Granville Street. And we'll just wait and cross the street. So we're at the intersection of Granville and West Georgia. This would be one of the busiest streets in the neighborhood. And we'll stroll on down in this direction here. And we're currently heading down West Georgia Street. This would be one of the major collection, collecting areas for a lot of different buses, especially the 250, 253, and 254. And those head over to areas like Horseshoe Bay, all the way over on the far side of West Vancouver. And over here is the 257, and that'll take you express to Horseshoe Bay. So if you need to catch the ferry from Horseshoe Bay over to the islands, that's the place to go. <laughs> I'm going to turn here on Seymour. Seymour is a less frequented street, but still fairly busy and during uh, peak rush hours and during the office lunch break. Right now it's a little chiller, it's around 3 p.m. so <laughs> it's one of those in-between times. Yeah it's 3.15 on my phone. You'll be able to see a blue T here. That's the back entrance to Granville Station or just one of the entrances to Granville Station. A lot of people don't know that you can get to Granville Station off Seymour Street, but you can. It's right here. I'll take you right to the expo line. So we're passing the Gotham Steakhouse and the St. Regis is right in front of us. That would be one of the major hotels. And we'll cross the street. So we're currently at the intersection of Dunsmere and Seymour. Oops, I think I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> yeah, I definitely jumped the gun there. <laughs> yeah, such is life. <laughs> yeah, can't win them all. 
Anyways, again, this is the intersection of a Dunsmere and Seymour, and that'd be Seymour looking in a, a westerly direction. Or a southerly direction, actually. Yeah. We'll head down Dunsmere Street here. Actually, you know what? We'll go down here one more street and over to Pender. Show Pender Street a little love. So we're walking down Seymour Street, over to Pender. Just so we can give Pender Street a little love. Over here you got Papa's Gourmet, Pizza and Pasta. You got a relatively good barber shop if you're in the neighborhood for that. And you got the Sprachas College. So, there you go. And on this side you got things like Mount Everest Kitchen and Grill. Mongolian, Share Tea, which is the bubble tea shop, and another barber shop over here. Haircuts over here, only $19.99, so 20 bucks. I pay 22 so maybe they're better <laughs> for a cheaper price. Who knows? I'm pretty happy with my barber. This is the Brown's Craft House that we're walking past now. It's a restaurant and bar with a large selection of different brews that you can have. So if you're into beer, that would be one of the places you could go. And we'll walk down here. They're on West Pender Street now. And we're approaching one of the Carnum's Donateries. It's the donut shop. There you go. They got one of the windows open so you can see a little bit inside. popular chain here. Not the only chain though. Lee's Donuts is, I would say is more popular, but Lee's Donuts, um, as far as I'm aware, is only starting to expand. They're going to expand soon to another area in the city, but right now they're only on Granville Island. And all those donut shops, of course, compete with the Chinese bakeries that have their own donuts. And they're delicious too, so don't forget about that if you're in the mood for donuts. And you're in Vancouver. This would be Richard Street and West Pender. And that would take you down if you go past Hastings Street. Okay. And then I believe you could walk down Cardero. Or is it Cordova? <laughs> Probably Cordova, any of the Chinatown. And you could also head into Chinatown in this direction on West Pender. Just gonna change the location of my wallet. For good reason. <laughs> and we'll keep walking. Wow, that's a large dog. <laughs> Very cool. We're going cross the street. We're at Homer Street. Asking Estrada, which is a pasta shop. You can go in there and get a nice meal. And then you can see a few other shops like SA Taylor's. That type of thing. And then right here, this building over here, that's Covenant House. And if Covenant, if you give me right, Covenant House is the youth. It's for youth. 
homeless youth, so that's what it provides, a place for them. We'll keep walking. We're at the intersection of Camby and West Pender. It's our turn. Just a little cross. We're on Camby, we're by Camby Street now on West Pender. And the light's about to change. There we go. So we'll continue down West Pender Street here. We're crossing to Camby. And uh, now we're back on West Pender. And we're technically in Chinatown now. Over by one of the easy pay parking lots. And there goes the 22 night bus. Now we'll go down the 9th street. This would be Beatty Street and West Pender. It's our turn across, so we'll cross Beatty Street. In this area, you may see people partaking in open drug use. So it's good to keep your wallet close to you. But generally, if they're over here, they're probably trying to avoid these tastings or take a break from it. So just mind your business and don't stare. A lot of these people are just poor and just trying to make it just like everyone else. So we'll turn down Abbott Street here and we'll head on over. This is a relatively safe neighborhood to walk around in because we are in Chinatown right now. Okay. But we are close to the downtown east side. So that's why I do take a few precautions when I'm in the area. I'm talking about the downtown east side, not the whole downtown east side. Just a small two, three blocks on East Hastings that are always in the national news that have the bulk and majority of the addictions problems. So we'll continue here on Abbott Street. Abbott here has lots of different shops to hunt. It's a liquor store, has Starbucks, has an entire mall called the International Village Mall. It's got a really good food court in it, especially during lunchtime. And of course, TNT Grocery Store. And we are here. We are now at the TNT Grocery Store. And I'm over here just to pick up some groceries. I mean, she can come with me to the door, but uh, from there, I'm <laughs> gonna put down my camera and do some grocery shopping. You can head in this way, but they prefer if you take the main entrance. 
and that'd be over here. So this part is actually part of Kiefer Street, but this part's called Kiefer Place because it ends in this cul-de-sac with this circle. And if you want to go to Main Street, or not Main Street, you want to go to Stadium Chinatown Station, it's just up those steps. So here's TND Grocery Store. I'm going to head on in. Uh, thanks for watching. Just remember to please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later, folks, okay? Have a good day.